guys welcome this is university of saint thomas the university is located in uh, minnesota state of minnesota in the united states of america this is one of the best universities that has got no application fee and has got a lot of scholarship for international students the college also gives you a warranty that you're gonna get admission as a matter of priority so if you are joining us for the first time you are our first viewer or this is your first time to view us this is globe scholars and you are welcome to subscribe to this channel and also like this video here we do share about opportunities that are available in the world be it scholarships or studying abroad for free attending fully funded conferences and occasionally we talk about jobs that we have thought out or the jobs that are really uh, amazing for you to check out and apply kindly subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up so the university of saint thomas has got the college of arts and science opus college of business school of engineering school of education school of law Morrison Family College Health, Dotary, and School of Divinity. If you want to find your major, there you can come and look at the undergraduate major or minors that are available, and also you can find your graduate program. So, for instance, you can come and let's look at the undergraduate major that are there. The undergraduate have over one hundred and fifty majors and minors these indeed are the highest number of courses so far so it means that each and every person will be catered for at this university all classes at this university are taught by faculty members including a required set of foundational courses called the co-curriculum if you want to come and look at your major you can come here and search for your major or you can look at you can scroll through and also find they are arranged alphabetically up to their biology biochemistry i've seen biblical and bible studies you can take this is a minor the the majors are also there chemistry then they have catholic studies chemistry among others these are the undergraduate courses that are offered or rather they are available here similarly the university has got also some graduate programs so what are some of the graduate programs that are available here the graduate programs are also are arranged in form of schools like that so you can come and see and then you can uh, if you are you belong to the school of divinity school of law school of education graduate programs in software school of engineering then you can come and apply but then there is something that we have to note here that is very important there is the requirement for international students or rather specific requirements for international students who want to come and study in this university so you can come and click here we look at the basic requirements are the bare minimum requirements for international graduates to study here so the requirements are academic transcript evaluation this is your we have transcripts on your bachelor's or rather then identification and immigration documents this is where you need a copy of the picture from their passport then these are just the normal things or rather applicants who are already in the u.s these are requirements that are required for you to identify yourself then let's look at the proof of english proficiency and see if they have the requirements here the, the the proof of english proficiency requirement this is also good news because most of us do fear 
actually sitting for the TOEFL, ILTS, Duolingo, Tesco, and others. They have included here, but mind you that these are a requirement for people who have, or rather who have not studied in English before, or who are coming from non-English speaking countries. But then there's a disclaimer here, completion of undergraduate or graduate degree at an, at an accredited college or university in the U.S., English speaking Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, or New Zealand. So you do not need to have this, uh, this ILTS. And also, native English speaking applicants from the following countries are not required to submit proof of English proficiency for most graduate programs. So English speaking Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. One thing to note is that this also refers to their colonies. If you are coming from Commonwealth country, then they are referring to these countries in, uh, in, in brief. So that is another requirement. So English is not really a mandatory. Then there is a online I-20 request form, which is this, the online I-20 request form. This means that after you are admitted, you will be able to access your international student profile at this site. Within that system, you will complete your profile and upload copies of your English proficiency, passport, and supporting financial documents. Once the documents have been reviewed and approved, your I-20 will be generated. And then one thing that I'll advise you to do is that if you don't have the ILTS, the TOEFL, the Duolingo test scores, what you need is to go to your former college and tell them to write you an English proficiency letter. In the English proficiency letter, you, they will mention that you studied there in English and the language of instruction is English and you are proficient, proficient in that. Or you go to your Ministry of Education offices, then they will write an attestation that the country where you are coming from, the curriculum is delivered in English and as a result, you are proficient in that language. So as such, you are not getting the burden of English test scores. Without much ado, once again, I remind you to subscribe to this channel. By subscribing, you give us a morale to continue looking for you this content, this information to you. Now let's look to the information about a scholarship process for St. Thomas here for first year students, transfer students, veterans, international students, uh, Doug Hart Family College graduate students. Then let's look at international students. The application information One, you complete an online application form and in the online application form, you just click the, this link and then it will bring you to that uh, link to that side. Then second step two, send the transcript, the transcript that you are required from high school colleges and universities that you have attended, both in the US and abroad, you'll have to send them. And these are the they are in their can in their portal. Then provide proof of English proficiency. We have talked about this before. Then submit a copy of your passport. Submit a dean of students form. This is for transfer students only and optional materials that are relevant. So the optional materials are like the ACT, the SAT among others so without much ado let's look at the scholarships and financial aid these are the financial aid uh, for graduate and undergraduate we have the thirty three thousand dollars merit-based scholarship then we have 
the scholarship university of st thomas minnesota scholarships then there are grants and scholarship graduate aid for university of uh, st thomas so let's click on this and see their 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 grad this is now the graduate financial aid the grants and scholarship Grants and scholarships. Some scholarships and grants are need-based and require the completion of the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, while others are based on merit and do not require the completion of the FAFSA. Students are advised to contact the academic program to inquire about specific departmental scholarship. So you can just check in here and then you can apply. I wish you the very best in your application. See you later.